Put it on my desk. Was your name on it? Yeah. You said let us pray. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. Who are the first people to settle North America? Raise your hand. First people to settle North America. Bella. Dakotas. They are the first to settle in Minnesota. Who was first to settle in all of North America? I know. Greta. Native Americans. I know. They were called that once they were here. Asian hunters. Asian hunters. Because of what theory? Maddie. The bridge thing. Land bridge. The bridge thing. A land bridge theory. Explain it to me. It's where during the ice age they thought that the the level of the sea went down, revealing land under the ocean that was high enough to walk over onto Alaska from Asia. Okay. Why do we have so many different Indian tribes? You and because of the environment they settled in. When they change their environment to survive, what do we call that? Adapting. Okay, ad adapting or adaptation. Then we were getting into exploration. And we talked about the Renaissance. What is the Renaissance? Um, kind of the, the renewal of Everything, art, literature, any any new thing was the came out of the Renaissance. How would that lead to how would that lead to exploration? Then because people begin to wonder what's out there. And then we touched on the Crusades. What did we say the Crusades were? Although some of you are like you are now half asleep. Don't you guys just come in from recess? No. Three hours? Actually, it was just No, it was like half an hour. We came from school. Don't you have lunch and then recess? Yeah. And then Spanish. And then homeroom or Spanish? It's only half hour. And then after we run, then we just get tired. Yeah. yeah. No, Spanish. Spanish, like the natural Yeah. Yeah. We it's a good nasty class. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know that loud. Wow. But social stuff. Social Stop staring at me. We need to wake up. Don't listen. We need to go outside. Yeah. Stand, yeah. Up. Stand up. Let's see you all. Stand up. I see your eyes looking at me. Stand up. 360. The other direction. No, one arm like this. 360. 360. You make me dizzy. Other direction. You won't get dizzy unless you go the same direction every time. Switch like this. But you switch the other way. I'm still. Take your hand like this. Well. Knock it. Can I wake you up? No. Yes. You can spray, you can spray chemicals on you. Yeah, there's more. Going outside is hell. Yeah, can we go outside? We've never been outside with you before. We've never been outside. Huh? Stay awake. Oh. Huh? So you'll if we have no lesson outside, it'd be better. What? Go outside, see, then we have to read the first 17 chapters of your book. No. Because I don't have the notes. Okay. Yeah. I don't have yeah. notes. We don't have a we don't have a projector out there. Okay. So that's the bad news up here. We're, we're not going to be going outside this first part of the year for sure. Okay. Sorry to say. What if you print out the sheets and then you just bring it to us? Yeah. And then you will the whole point. Yeah, you can these sheets. I do have them printed out. They're on. They're on the. 
classroom. We should print them out. But you can look at all that in the sheet, but if we don't talk about it, then what? Then we'll let you. Well, see, if you write stuff, what happens? <laughs> Research shows if you write stuff, what happens? You remember it. You remember it better. So you don't have to. This is your choice, because I do have the notes printed out, but there, I don't know if I have everything we talked about in class printed out. Because that's where I'm going from, our printed out version. But usually we talk about other stuff as we go along. Um, the crusades were um, wars over the Holy Land between the Jews and the Okay. Where's the Holy Land? Mikey, where's the Holy Land? <coughs> You don't have to look this up. You don't know where the Holy Land is? So. We have all these seventh grade good Catholic children, and they don't know where the Holy Land is? I mean, you ask Greg. Oh, there's a picture on the back of your planner. What's it say on the back? It says, um, does it say Holy Lands? Yeah, it says Holy Land at the time of Jesus. Galilee, Catholic, Syria. Yeah, Syria. Holy Land at the time of Jesus. Wow, these planners are really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I know so. Little, but I don't think so. Oh, yeah, little, but I don't think so. So they're right here. Now, it ended up that the Holy Wars, the Crusades weren't, didn't end up very good. Because what ended up happening is Christians ended up fighting other Christians. Well, the good thing that came out of the Crusades is that all these Europeans, they came here and they were exposed to all these new products they had never seen before. Citrus fruits they had never seen. And, and particularly the the women were very happy with this new material they had never seen before. They had no idea. Silk. 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 Oh, it feels so nice. It slides on you. Uh, so they said to their husbands, what? <laughs> Buy me silk. silk. Yeah, I want more silk. <laughs> Give me some of that silk. So people, so the husbands, many of them were kings and other lords. They said, oh, Happy wife, happy life. You follow that model. Happy wife, happy life. So he what? Well, he, got that silk. He, yes. he needs to find a way to get some silk. And so it spurred exploration. They wanted to go get these new products. Because if I can find these new products, not only am I going to make my wife happy, what else am I going to happen? Your wife's going to be happy. I'm going to get what? Better I'm going to get rich. Which everybody seems to want to do. Except Mr. Hale. I get rich in other ways. I get rich in just the, the atmosphere of all these young people just eager to learn. Totally eager. In between the snoring that goes on. Can you turn off one of the lights because there's a huge glare and I can't see them? I bet you Chase can't see it either. But he can look on the... Hi Chase. You can't see me. <laughs> you see that better? Uh, a little better. Can we turn the other lights off? Hold light. Who wants to pull lights off? I do. I don't know. I hesitate because some of your eyes are drooping so much. I okay, we we'll make a deal. If I turn off both lights, then I'm allowed to slap your desk if I see you. Uh, yes. 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 Yes, you're not the desk. You can't fall asleep. You're not making the deal? Me? No, I can fall asleep. Is there a hand up? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be falling asleep. Well, I was like, I'm going to fall asleep. Well, I need to fall asleep. Well, majority rule, steel has been made. Okay, I'll I wanted to slap someone. I promise I won't slap your desk, Bella. Ben, yes, He'll ben. whack it with his but pointer finger. I might finger. slap my <laughs> thing. I might slap my thing. That's all right, right? Okay, that's certainly uh, a... <laughs> I, I oh um, Chase, okay. phone warning. So, 
people wanted to find these new things. Let's, let's find a trade route. And about this time, because of the refer because of the Renaissance, educators, most educated people said, you know, the world is really round. If we sail this way, what? We'll wind up over here where these products originally came from. Why were the products here? Because of the Silk Road, this trade route that went here in the Middle East is a crossroads, and stuff from Africa came this way, and stuff from Asia came this way, so they were right here, so the Europeans got both things. But they said, you know, if we could get here first and not have to pay the middleman, because you got to pay for the middleman who's bringing it from here over to here, right? So if we could just get there first, you could what? Get discount. You get a lot more money that way. Discount. You get a lot more money. Discount. So that's why people wanted to go to explore things. And each nation, as nations began to, to develop at this time, because there's no longer these kingdoms that are out there, and, and different things, nations began to develop. Well, they began to look for trade routes. Except, we're going to look at the different nations and what they were after. Okay? So, Italy, this is the exception. Italy never did any exploring. Why? Because okay. Italy's Italy. Because they, okay, they had already established trade routes to the Middle East. So they were the ones that were first bringing in the products. They had a sure thing here. The people that were going to explore, you're risking. How much does it cost to outfit a ship to go exploring? A lot. Big bucks. Big bucks. But you're, you're planning what? To survive. You're not just planning to survive. You're planning what? More big bucks. You're going to plan to get more big bucks than you're spending to outfit this ship. But Italy wasn't willing to do that because they already had this sure thing. They're already getting wealthy from this sure thing trade. From going straight here to the, to the Holy Lands, getting the products and bringing them back. And everybody knows that route. There's no danger involved with that route. And you're making money. So that's why they were unwilling to risk exploration. So that's why whenever you see an uh, Italian like Columbus, they didn't sail for who? Columbus didn't sail for Italy, even though he's Italian. So if I'm Italian and I want to go exploring, I had to go where? I had to go somewhere besides Italy, because they weren't going to outfit me. I'd have to go somewhere else. So Italy had a sure thing. Verrazano was another guy. He was an Italian that sailed for it. Who'd Columbus sell for? You guys know? <coughs> well, Portugal was the first country for exploration. Columbus sell for Spain, right? We'll get to that in a minute. Portugal was the first, but again, they didn't risk just going out in the middle of nowhere. They went along the coast of Africa here. So they kind of kept Africa in view. And then they sailed around Africa. And eventually, Vasco da Gama here, you can see, made it to India. So two of their, uh, Bartholomew Diaz sailed to the Cape of Good Hope, which is the southern part of Africa here. So Diaz made it to here. And then Vasco da Gama made it all the way around. And, and another reason the Portuguese explored was because they had Prince Henry, who actually encouraged exploration. He set up a school of navigation, and he actually made some special ships that were called caravels that, that were a lot faster on the ocean and dependable. So Portugal, uh, again, why are they exploring? To get silk for their wives. 
So they're looking for trade routes. The overall goal is always what? Money. That's the main reason all these people are exploring. They want to make money. And the way they're making money, they believe they can make money, is if we can get to those trade routes first and get, the, get a, a monopoly on trade, we're going to get rich. But Portugal, again, wasn't willing to just sail off to the west. They went along the coast of Africa. And the, the bad thing that the Portuguese did, who knows what the bad thing that they did was, Because when they stopped on some of these coast ports, they saw different African um, African peoples and tribes. And these tribes, for years, had fought with each other. And when, the, when one tribe conquered the other, what they do with the people they conquered? Kill them. No, there's no money in killing them. Sold them. You made them slaves. And the Portuguese were the first to introduce slavery to the rest of Europe. So the Portuguese came and bought these slaves and they brought them back to Europe. And slavery then came to Europe. And then slavery then came to all the colonies of Europe, like our country. And now today we're, we're we're having all kinds of arguments about people that used to what? Slaves. Own slaves. So they're pulling down statues and, and everything. They, they changed the name of uh, the lake over in Minneapolis. I can't even pronounce the Sioux name now, but it, it's, a, it's a Dakota name now instead of, sort of, instead of Lake Calhoun. Because Calhoun, John Calhoun, was a what? Slave, slave owner. But Portugal is the first to, to do that, okay? Who's next? On your sheet. Spain. Spain. Spain's next. Why did Spain come? Again, they came for gold and riches. They said, if I find a trade room, we're going to get gold and riches. But instead, they found golden riches in, in, in North America and South America. So they found their riches. In, and Spain basically dominated the New World for the first couple hundred years. Mainly because of these two monarchs, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. If you want to go explore, you went to them because they were interested in exploration. Not just because of money, that was a primary reason, but also they're Catholic monarchs, so they want to do what? Help. What's our main job as Catholics? Serve others. Spread the good word. Spread the good news. That's our main job as a Catholic. We're supposed to be spreading the good news. Well, they took it seriously. They wanted to go to these new lands and tell people about Jesus. But again, last year, I think we talked about there was this mixture, right? You can't tell people about, say, we come here to tell you about Jesus, and then what? And then you take all their stuff. It doesn't. And it isn't very good witness, right? So you had the you had the missionary people that were there to spread Jesus, but then you had the political people there that were there for what? Mm. Make money. And so you had a mixed message. Even though both of them, we said, thought their culture was best, so that's why. Okay, ethnocentrism. So all of them are ethnocentric. So. They eventually settled most of North and South America. That's why you guys are taking one language here. Okay. See? Uh, what's, what's it say for pretty good? More bueno? More bien. More bien. What is it called again? Moy. 
Muy bien. I'm going to learn some Spanish. My daughter speaks Spanish fluently. That's why she's teaching preschoolers in Colombia in my living room. Christopher Columbus, we said he was an Italian. He came from Genoa, Italy, but, but he sailed. He went to King, Isab King uh, Ferdinand and Queen Isabella and said, I would like to go exploring. I'm going to make you lots of money. And they said, okay. And so he landed on this little island, San Salvador, right here in the Caribbean, thinking he was a little island over here. How many voyages did he make? Three. Three different voyages he made. You can see them. Well, they only have one of them here. This is the red line. You can see how far this one. But there are three other voyages. One. So he was the earliest known European, which was what year? You guys didn't have to rem memorize that poem when you were in elementary school? Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. So in 1492, Columbus came and, and supposedly, quote unquote, discovered. There's lots of debate about that now. Because many people say, who was here first? Asian hunters. Besides the Asian hunters, who were the first Europeans that most people say today? The Vikings. the Vikings. Okay, Leif Erikson was here, but the difference between the Vikings and the Spanish, okay, the Spanish ended up settling, and the Vikings just came to raid and destroy. Although, again, their major purpose was only to find gold and riches. So they came to exploit the land, take from the Native Americans whatever they had. Cortez, you should know what a conquistador is, a person that is a Spanish conqueror. So they just came and conquered these advanced civilizations. They were amazing civilizations. You can go see the ruins. How many have seen, how many have been to Mexico? Vacationing and seen some of the ruins. If you've ever been to Mexico City, you'll see the ruins of the Aztecs for sure. And he conquered the Aztecs. Even though the Aztecs far outnumbered his Spanish group of people, he was able to conquer all of them. It was amazing. Part of it had to do with the, the Aztec religion. In their religion, it said this light-skinned, hairy man with beard was going to show up. And guess what? Cortez is this light-skinned, had a beard. He thought, they thought he was God, Quasicoto in their religion. And of course, you know, they had guns. And to the Native Americans, they were just what? Sticks. And they pointed at people, and what happened? Smoke came out, and that person what? Died. Died. So they thought they were gods. All they had to do was point these sticks, and you die. So they conquered, and then Pizarro went and conquered the Incas of Peru. Probably, I have a picture of that right up here, right? Right here. There, so here's the uh, Inca Machu Picchu. <coughs> and then you had Fernand, friend, uh, Fernand Magellan, who was actually Portuguese, but he sailed for Spain, and he's given credit for the first to circumnavigate the world. What does circumnavigate mean? Term you should know for the test. What circumnavigate? What circumference? Don't you guys do that, Matt? Circumference. Wait, isn't a circumference that thingy where you take a pencil and you go It's the outside of the circle. Yeah, it's the whole outside circle. So guess what circumnavigate means? Inside the circle. 
Going around the world. So he actually didn't make it alive. Here you can see on this map this dotted black line, dash, dash and dots right here. This shows you Magellan's route. He went over here. And you see when he got here to the Philippines, the natives attacked and killed him. But his ship continued the journey. And because he was the original captain, he gets what? Credit. He gets the credit. I don't know if they threw, brought his body back to be buried over here. That'd be pretty smelly, isn't it? But he gets credit. This, even though officially he didn't make it alive, he gets credit for selling around the world. So if I asked you on a test, who's the first person to sail around the world, you'd say, Magellan. You'd say Ferdinand Magellan. On a pretest, I said, who was the first what? Englishman to sail. That's why it wasn't Magellan. It was. Okay, any question about the Spanish? So again, both Portugal and Spain, they're coming for what? <coughs> Gold and riches. Basically, by finding this trade route. Then France comes along. They also came to find the trade route. So we could just say they came look Portugal came from the trade route and really made their money by doing what? Exploiting Africans by slavery. Spain came for a trade route and they they made their money by doing what? Exploiting the Native Americans by taking all the golden riches they had. Spain at one time was the most powerful, richest country in the world. Today, what do you think of when you think of Spain? Do you think of it as a powerful, rich country? No, no it's one of the poor uh, European countries. Because they didn't uh, utilize France. They came for the trade route, but they made their money how? We learned this last year. Fur trade. So they made it with the fur trade, with the beaver, to make the top hats. We learned all that last year, right? Yeah. They intermarried with the Native Americans so they can make it a better trade. My great-great-grandmother, great-great-great-grandmother, said was a Mohawk Indian who married a French trapper. So some of the French explorers, Giovanni Verrazzano, who was an Italian again, but he explored for France. Why didn't he explore for Italy? Why did Verrazzano not explore for Italy? They didn't want to risk exploration, so they didn't pay for any of that. Jacques Cartier, who explored this area, the, the coast up here. That's why in Canada today we have a, a province that's primarily what? Quebec or Quebec? What do they speak in Quebec in Canada? Anybody been to Quebec in Canada? What language do you need to know up there? French. French, because the French dominate that area because of these explorers. In fact, Canada is actually a bilingual country. What's bilingual mean? Two different languages. So in, the official language in France is two. What are they? French. Not France. The official language of Canada is two. French. French and English. English. Okay. Champlain explored the Gulf of St. Lawrence up here. Has a lake named after him. Guess what the lake is called? Oh, come on. You guys could get this. That was like a. He has a lake named after him. 
Champlain has a lake named after him. Lake Champlain. Lake Champlain. Very good. We're just on top of Thank you. So that's why Canada, okay, this part became known as New France. You see it up here. We talked about last year some later explorers then came up the Mississippi. Like, uh, you guys, somebody had to do that report last year. These two guys, two priests, who were they? They don't remember the report you did? No. That's well, kind of the time the pandemic all hit. So some of you didn't finish the reports. I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I did mine on school Marquette and Juliet. Somebody had Marquette and Juliet? I don't remember. Which brings us to who? England. And how is England different than all these others? And why now we all speak what? English. English. Really, we should all probably be speaking Spanish. If Spain, if their main purpose, if Spain's main purpose was to come here and, and to colonize, if that was their main purpose, then we'd all be what? We'd all be Spanish right now. But their main purpose was what? <laughs> to get rich. Make money, okay? England started out for trade routes, but then their later purpose changed to settlement. And so people came to settle. And that's why we are all speaking English. Or at least one of the reasons. Otherwise I'd be clueless. So why would you want to come and colonize? Why would you want to come and colonize this new world? So I've got six reasons here. One, the enclosure movement. Okay, back in England, or Great Britain, you had these lords who owned all this big land all over the place. And if I was poor, I wouldn't own the land, but I could live on the land, I could have my own home on the land. And I would just work the land and I'd do what for the Lord? Give him a share of my crop. But the Lord's decided, you know, we want to take over this land. So what happened to all the people living on the land? They got kicked off because the land wasn't theirs. Their homes got destroyed. They had nowhere to go. So the option was to starve or what? Go to the new world. So that's one reason this enclosure movement was happening, fencing off people from their homes. So that's one of the reasons it came. Okay, a second reason is religious persecution. What's that mean? Anybody know the term for that? You need to know it for the test. It's called religious intoleration. This means you persecute people if what? They don't believe what you believe. So if they don't believe what I do, you get persecuted. So in England, what was the church in England? You one should know this. What was the Church of England? Still the Church of England today. What's it called? It's very unusual that because there's probably very few Catholics actually in England. Literally, the Church of England. Yeah, but there, it has a special name for that religion. The Anglican Church. So the Anglican Church was the Church of England. 
And you had to believe what the Anglicans believed. If you didn't, what? You'd be persecuted. Not necessarily killed, but definitely uh, made your life miserable. So many religious groups that didn't agree with everything the Anglicans did, they were being persecuted, so they said what? Let's leave here so we don't have to face that persecution anymore. Let's get away from it. So they came to the New World to get away from it. Okay, a third reason is political persecution. What kind of government does England have? You have a monarchy. Okay. And a monarchy says who has all the power? King. King. So if you didn't agree with everything the king did, or if you criticized the king, or you did anything, what happened? Jesus. You get thrown in jail. You'd be persecuted. So again, to get a rid, to, to be able to have your own freedoms, let's go to the new world. So that's the third reason. Fourth reason overflowing prisons. You guys remember the gospel last week? You had this, the king calls his servant in, and he says, I want you to pay off your debts. And the servant says, what? Maybe you guys don't remember this gospel. The servant says, oh, please, please, give me time, I'll pay off your debt. I'll pay him off. And the king forgives him. And then this guy goes out and finds a guy that owes him money. And what? The guy that owes him money does the same thing. Please, please, I'll pay you off. And he says, tough. You're going to jail until you can pay it off. People were thrown in jail. If you could, how could you pay it off if you're in jail? Um, you can't. You really can't unless your family can come up with the money to pay it off. But most of the people that were going into jail that owed debts... Their family was what? Poor. Poor. They couldn't afford to pay off somebody else's debts. So there were many people in, in jail in England that that weren't serious criminals. They were just what? They were just poor and and they couldn't they had a bad year or something with crops and they couldn't pay off a debt. So instead of forcing them to stay in jail, they'll say, you have a choice. You can go to jail or what? Get persecuted. You can go to the new world. Go to the new world. What would you do? Go to the new world. Well, some people, you go, if you go to the new world, what are you throwing away? Your whole life. Yeah. Your life as you've always known it. Any relatives that you know. Okay? But that's another reason people came. Some people just came for adventure, saying, Ooh, cool, let's go see what's out there. Anybody in here like that? You just like to go see what's out there. Okay? Those are the people that have become astronauts and, and uh, wilderness guides and things like that. They're thrill seekers. They want to find out what's out there. They say there's this new world out there. I'm going to go find it out. And some people did it for economic opportunity. Because everybody said, if you come over to this new land, it's what? People over here never owned land ever in their life. Over here it's what? Free, free land. There's nobody there. They were kind of lying because it was there. Native Americans were there. So when they came, they had to do what to the Native Americans? Kick them out. But some came for that economic audit. Your life will be better if you go there. So all these reasons were people coming for England to settle. Okay? And these were some of the uh, explorers for England. John Cabot. And we talked about Sir Francis Drake. Sir Francis Drake was basically an English pirate. He went around the world attacking Spanish ships. Keeping the loot himself, he wasn't doing it for England really, but he's, but he's, as he was doing that, he ended up doing what? You can see his path here in the red. What did he do? And he 
he didn't die along the way. He circumnavigated the world. The first Englishman to circumnavigate the world. Or you could say the first person to do it alive. So Sir Francis Drake sailed around the world. And then Sir John Cabot explored up in here. That's why we eventually get colonies along this coast. How many? How many colonies? Lucky number? Thirteen original colonies. And that's kind of what we want to move on today to finish our we get an assignment today because I know you've been dying to have a social studies assignment. No. Serious? Okay, I've been dying to give you one. No. Why is it no homework? How many? I said very little homework. Yeah. Yeah, we get one on the weekend. Oh, excuse me, I think I just heard something right here. I get to take out my cup. Mm -hmm. No, I can't read it. I can't read it. I can't read it, Mr. Hill. What? No, no, <laughs> teaching school. We're, we're why do I have to do all this coronavirus stuff? Uh, why do I have students look like they're falling asleep in my class? Why won't they laugh at my funny jokes? I laugh at you because they're funny. Not all the time. Tell us another one. Oh, poor, poor me. was set up by Spain. Very first one. I was there. They got a big fort there. It's very cool. Where's it at? A big what? Where's St. Augustine at? Because oh, uh, Span Spanish like to name their, their places after saints. After Catholic people. So you can go see this cool fort. Big stone fort. And it's the oldest settlement ever in the New World. Oldest European settlement. Of course, not the oldest settlement, because the oldest settlement would have been what? Native Americans, right? I was there too. Mesa Verde is one of the oldest settlements. At the Four Corners, which we said. So, it's in Florida. So if you can go down to Florida and you can see St. Augustine. It's right out of Jacksonville. Isn't Jacksonville have like the tiny parking lot? Oh, that's, that's uh, Memphis, Tennessee. That was on my way. That's the same trip. Same trip. It got canceled. So, 1565, that's the oldest colony in our country. Jamestown is the oldest English colony. 1607. And then every Thanksgiving, we celebrate who? You guys again. Why are you guys laughing at me? Lucy, are you guys laughing at me? Right here, we're celebrating the pilgrims. The pilgrims really were called separatists. We only have 10 minutes left. Okay? Separatists are people that wanted to separate 
from the Church of England. Which is different than the Puritans. Okay? The Puritans wanted to purify the Church of England. And then you had the Quakers, whose founder was William Penn. Guess what state they founded? <laughs> you don't have to guess because it's up there. No, we don't. William Penn, what state? Oh, oh what colony? What colony? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. They were found by the Quakers. What are the Quakers known for? Ducks. Don't say cereal. Quackers. Oh, ducks. I was going to say crackers. Ducks. I'm going to say oatmeal. Wait, turtles? Uh, Marvel. Boy, I can say random things. What are we talking about? Really? Yeah, we're talking about That's what I'm talking about. Well, that's what I'm hearing over there. Greta's giving me the message by talking to, to the writer. She's saying, Please give us homework, Mr. Hill. Please give us homework, Mr. Hill. Please give us homework, Mr. Hill. That's what I hear when people talk. Whoa. When we're trying to go over notes. The Quakers believe in total nonviolence. We had that scripture this week. Jesus said, if somebody strikes you on the right cheek, what? Give them the other cheek. The Quakers take that literally. So they will not fight at all. If you're a strict Quaker, they will never go to war. If somebody takes something of the Quakers, they won't fight. They take that, they live out their Christianity radically. The reason they're called Quakers, you know, they're also the only, the only religious group that doesn't really have a, a pastor or a priest. So they just have a meeting like this, and they start praying, and then somebody starts to shake because they have the Holy Spirit on them. And that person starts to give the teaching for that because God's speaking through that person. That's why they're called Quakers because they're quaking. Ninety percent of the people that came to these colonies were farmers. And then the people that weren't farming, when you got to the colonies, you had to what? To make to survive. Farm. You had to farm. So if you didn't farm, you had to learn how to farm. And this is where the terms of religious toleration and intoleration came on. So America, originally, these colonies were founded on the principle that you should be able to worship the way you want. But there were some groups, like the Puritans. Remember, we said the Puritans got kicked out of England. Why? Because this church, what? This Anglican church said to what to the Puritans? We will persecute you. Yeah, you gotta you gotta worship the way we want to, or you're out of here, or we're gonna persecute you. So the Puritans they get out of there, and guess what they do to all the people that come to where they're at? Purify. Exact same thing. They per, they do what what the Anglican church did to them. <laughs> so we get we have other colonies today because of they were former people that were at this colony. The Puritans started Massachusetts Bay Colony. When you get into high school, you might have to read this this uh, book called The Scarlet Letter. I had to. The Scarlet Letter. It's about these Puritans. And the whole Salem witchcraft. How many have heard of that? Salem witchcraft. Basically, Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, a bunch of people were accused of being witches. You know how you find out if somebody's a witch? You drown them. Yeah, you throw some rocks around their ankles and throw them into a lake or a pond. If they come up, they're what? A witch. They're witches. Mm -hmm. If they drown, what? They're dead. They weren't witches. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what, you're that's gonna what, die. That's what, like, so many people were innocently yeah. killed. Yeah. Innocent killed by in those groups. Also, when you see the pictures of sometimes the colonies of the stockades, have you guys seen those? So, where you've probably been to museums that have this. So you stick your head through there and you stick your arms through like this. Oh, I've seen And then you slap them down. Yeah. People had to be in there because of violating some some rule of the religion, and they put them right out in the middle of the town. They put them right out in the middle of the town. So what? So everybody could see that these people were violating their religious things. So you were persecuted if you didn't do exactly what they did. And that's what this book, The Scarlet Letter, is about. This lady has to wear a big A on her every. Every dress that she wears, she has to wear a big A. The A stands for adultery. She was, I think it's because she had a child or something and wasn't married. And so that, this the Puritans made, again, they're trying to shame you into what? Into following what they believe. That's religious. That's the opposite of this. That's called religious what? Intolerance. Intolerance. But that's why different groups formed. The Catholic. You guys know what the Catholic colony was? Spanish. Well, Spanish ones, yes, they were Catholic, but I'm talking about the 13 colony. Oh. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It was started by Lord Baltimore. Baltimore. Lord Baltimore. What colony was that? The Baltimore Ravens. You guys know what Baltimore is? Baltimore. What state? Baltimore. Wait, is it? Maryland. Maryland. I call it. Lord Baltimore, Maryland. Okay. The Catholic. It was a Catholic colony. They didn't get along with any of these people. Because these other groups were Protestant groups. Catholics and Protestants were fighting at this time. You had Georgia. Georgia was a colony that was founded by, like Australia was. You guys know who originally founded Australia? A dude named Australia. It comes back to this. These overflowing prisons. You know, let's send a bunch of prisoners here and let them survive. If they survive, then we're going to make some money off of them. If they don't, well, they were just prisoners. So that's what Georgia was. The original settlers of Georgia were prisoners. They found that colony. So each of these colonies have their very own uh, picture of what life was like. So here's what I'm going to do. What time? How much time we got? Two minutes. Uh, two minutes? Yeah. Three yeah. minutes. Uh, yeah, two minutes. One minute and ten seconds. Two seconds. One minute. No. You're going to have maybe, maybe twenty minutes or more next time we have social studies. You're going to have twenty minutes or more next time we have social studies to finish to do this worksheet. If you don't think you can finish this worksheet in 20 minutes or more, like 30 at the most, okay, then that means what? That means you need to do whatever you think you can't finish in 30 minutes. Now the good news is you only have to do the circled ones. Are you giving it to us today? Yes. So if it's circled, if it's circled, you do it. If it's not circled, you don't, do it. you don't have to do it. But for every three of the non-circled ones that you do, you get one bonus. Can we do this as like homework today? Don't leave till you get one of these. 